Do you guys and gals have platonic friendships? Kim and Yoon-soo have been friends for years. But thanks to a bit of liquid courage, they ended up in an unspeakable tangle. Watching Yoon-soo still in the land of Nod, Kim tiptoed out of the bedroom like a ninja on a secret mission. The aftermath of last night's battle lay scattered everywhere, evidence of a wild ride. He played housemaid, tidying up the room, even delivered yoon Su's clothes like a special delivery. yoon Su was clearly bamboozled when she woke. Later, she suggested they take a three-minute memory dump, pretend like their wild night was just a blip in the Matrix, and keep the friend zone flag flying high. Kim's face flickered with a hint of what if, but he chuckled and agreed to the reset button. For two months, they kept mum about their slip-up, avoiding each other like it was an Olympic sport. But lo and behold, yoon Su showed up at Kim's doorstep unannounced that night, marched in without a peep and face planted onto Kim's bed. Kim was about to stage an intervention, but yoon Su beat him to the punch, flinging off her socks with Olympic-level skill. It's true, post that oopsie-daisy incident, yoon Su hadn't been around Kim's pad, but now she had a legit excuse. Turns out, her pipes went cap it like a watery fireworks show, so she needed a crash pad, and Kim's place was it. Kim was ready to nix the idea. But yoon Su turned on the charm offensive, and who can resist that? After a haggle session worthy of a flea market, Kim laid down the law, five days max. yoon Su made herself at home, cozy as a bug in a rug. A comfort that even she couldn't decode. Kim, on the other hand, was a bundle of nerves. Yoon Su's presence stirring up the ghosts of that night two months ago. So he was all frowns and grumbles, even to Yoon Su's pet hedgehog. But talk is cheap next day, while Yoon Su was at work. He crafted a snack haven for the spiky guest. And he whipped up a feast fit for a king when Yoon Su clocked out. Yoon Su, gobsmacked, blurted out. When did you morph into Mr. Warmth over here? Post-dinner, they took to the yard, sipping drinks, a mirror image of that night. yoon Su's face went all serious, mouth gearing up for a confession. But then bam, the boss's ringtone killed the moment. Kim sighed, a bubble of hope burst. Boss man wanted yoon Su to translate a horror flick scary as a haunted house. yoon Su was spooked to the core but soldiered on. Kim played the you're interrupting my beauty sleep card. Yet there he sat, right by her through the entire scream fest. Arm numb as a log, but mum's the word. Next morning, as yoon Su scrambled for work with her eyeliner gone rogue, Kim jumped in, artist's hands at the ready, staring at his focused, dashing face. yoon Su's heart did a little tap dance, uncharted territory for her. And that chin up, I got this move. Left yoon Su's cheeks a shade of sunrise, her expression a cocktail of fluster and flutter. After dinner, yoon Su had a hankering to pick some apricots. With no choice in the matter, Kim played lookout as she dove into the mission. But all that hustle and not a single fruit plot. Kim drifted to the side, thumbs scrolling through his phone out of sheer boredom. yoon Su hollered for backup. And despite his grumbling, Kim trudged over, hoisting yoon Su up like a toddler reaching for the cookie jar. What can he say? He signed up for this excitement when they became friends. Finally, with Kim's boost, success. yoon Su waxed poetic about the apricot scent. As Kim leaned in to sniff his dashing face up close, yoon Su's mind went blank and Dukshu lips followed suit. Kim was gobsmacked, but stood there letting the moment linger. Then reality snapped back, and they both thought they'd gone bonkers. Kissing with this nutcase, yoon Su, a cocktail of emotions gave him a kick and stormed off. The way back was a symphony of sarcastic quips. yoon Su mulling over her apparent desperation for making a move on Kim of all people. Kim acted all high and mighty, but his attitude only fanned yoon Su's flames. Weren't we supposed to bury that knight six feet under? Why are we digging it up again? But the more Kim unraveled, the more yoon Su laid it on thick until she was shouting, half serious, half jest, about broadcasting their bedroom Olympics to the entire neighborhood.